What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lunar, and uh, we got a quick one today. I'm trying something different. This is uh, me recording. I'm not live right now. I'm just, I'm just, fuck, god damn. I'm just gonna record and see how I like this feeling. It's kind of boring, kind of lonely, but um, I got a quick video about um, this video is by Taylor Chandler, woman lying about men. I don't really know what the gist is and uh we finna just get into it oh uh if y'all got a videos y'all want me to react to uh y'all can link them or post them in the comments and stuff and i get to oh wait before we get into this uh like comment subscribe i appreciate y'all we almost at the 500 uh subscriber that'll really help me like the video especially follow follow your boy or tell you people about me uh we almost at the milestone if i get to 500 we can start having like sponsors and stuff you know i can start doing little things like um what is it doing the channel doing little channel stuff you know like regular youtubers do you know I'm trying to get up there you know what i'm saying but i know it's a process but i appreciate everybody that's still here and uh being patient with me while uh while i play destiny <laughs> what uh Let's get it to this one. Lost hope or desire. This is so sad. <laughs> Who might be just negatively talking about men in general. But there's a difference between sharing a bad experience and being stuck perpetuating a negative narrative. So be especially aware of people who are telling the same sad story over and over or who are telling other people's stories with the same, listen to me, with the same emotional reactivity as if it was their story. Do y'all know girls that do that? Like I know a couple girls that I went to school with that, that they, ain't, they don't do shit but sit at the house and be messy, but they'll tell everybody's story and everything like it happened to them. But we gonna continue. You're going to be listening to your friends a little bit different. You're, you're going to be doing you're going to be doing that little brunch on Sunday a little bit different. You need to be looking like this. Don't even don't drink too much. Don't even go past. Don't go past that second drink. You need to be listening like this and watching like this. Like, what are y'all? What is y'all really saying? What are y'all really talking about? They're over identifying with other people's negative experiences, but they're bonding in the trauma emotionally and mentally with stories that really aren't theirs. Beware of these people, y'all. Female friends who have lost hope and desire will be lying to you or presenting the wrong image of men. <clears throat> some of them will really try to rope you into some sort of female commune. They're not going to call it that, though. But again, you listen like this. Listen like this. They try to rope you into some sort. I'm not saying this is everybody, but they might be suggesting that about four to six of y'all get a little house together where you share responsibilities for keeping each other alive. It's a call to commune, but they're not gonna call it that. I see, I see, I'm not gonna post them like that. I seen, uh, what is some white girls, uh, they posted about doing it and like calling like the old witch form or whatever. Like they're really trying to bring like witches back or whatever. And, uh, I don't know like a lot of women are just so caught up i feel like all of this stuff is all about the damn just social media is ruining a lot of this stuff bro like if you think about it it's just like women get on tiktok and just scroll and watch toxic videos non-stop over and over again till they get into their head that it's all twisted and fucked up in their reality when their reality is nothing like they may go to target and you know their bad experiences a dude didn't hold the door for them you know what i'm saying and then they just flip out in their mind which granted dudes ain't gonna hold the door for them no more because they don't want to get called creep and all this other stuff and you know just the the stuff that they get from the internet and like they're perpetuating all of this stuff spewing out all this negativity out in real life and now they're basically transforming their world into this negative stereotype they think the world is and it's 
it's just becoming bad. And it's like the more I, the more I, I be out, especially since I've been working at the club and stuff. It's just sad to see like the separation of men and women. Like when I DJ now, I've been DJing. Like the club opened up, people that's been following me, and I see more women dancing in their groups and stuff now than I have ever in my entire time, my entire life DJing. And I've been DJing since I was six. Been DJing with my pops, going on shows and doing stuff with him. And the past, I want to say the past, since the pandemic, now when I DJ or do weddings or whatnot, like the only time I see couples or anybody dancing together at a wedding is when they're forced to take the couples and stuff out the people who dance together or somebody that's already married and they're the only ones on the floor dancing together everybody else is, if it ain't line dance nobody's dancing together and it's so sad the way the world is operating now and that's just on the club front and you know me being out there like you know when i go out shopping or just out and about walmart or target or you know just out in the city or whatnot it's just separation from everybody and it's just it's just it's getting sad dude like it's really 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 getting sad and i don't blame men for how they are and then it's just like you got a lot of women like she's talking that want problems and want negativity they just feed off of that in their life that they're just conjuring up it on their own out of nowhere for no reason and it's not and that's not their life they they want that and it's just like why do you want that and the and the women that want that life don't want it but they're the dumb ones that gotta type it just keep going to the same poison the same cycles over and over that's a whole other topic we'll find another video for them but i don't know it's just weird they will eliminate your future vision of being with a man or having a family with a man they your family now y'all come on yeah and that's another thing too like I've, another thing i've noticed with women too is that uh say it's a group of like let's just take a group of five girls five women if one of them is like in a relationship that's happy whatever the other four will be like spewing negativity or telling them what they should and should put up with in their relationship so she will get so she will break up with her husband and that's out of 10 they all are jealous of her because she's in a relationship and or they're unhappy in their relationships or in their marriages so when they become single they want all their friends to be single so they can go out and do whole shit with each other this is something i noticed too that like one one female friend can't be happy if the other female friend ain't happy that's another weird thing i noticed too and like say you're like a dude that's like you know you're a good dude treating your girl right doing nothing wrong they will find things to say or find negative things about you just to put in your girl head and as a man you gotta you gotta we you gotta see those signs and, and get a hold of that before they do and better hope and pray that you have a girl that's locked in with you that would take what you say into consideration and listen to what you say and make sure nobody can fuck that up these are people who have lost hope who have lost desire stuff drying up hope drying up other things be drying up they eliminating the vision of a man in your life y'all this stuff gets real in your in your self in your subconscious wake up so there's also the type of friend who acts like men don't exist at all. Like they're neither here nor there. Like it don't matter. Mm -hmm. They downplay men 
as if having one wouldn't light their life up. Like they just wouldn't. Like they like it. Like it wasn't on their vision board. And 20 that go back to the ones I said that if her friend got a man or is talking to a man, she's saying everything negative. Like, girl, you don't need no man. Or I don't know why you want to be in a relationship. You fine by yourself. Oh, uh, you gonna think a man gonna change any blah, blah like they just put negativity in her head, bro. They they bitter, bro. Twenty twenty two, but after twenty twenty two didn't go the way that they thought it would. They started losing hope in twenty twenty three, and now it's twenty twenty four, and things didn't go the way that they thought. And now they acting like they never wanted it in the first place. Cap. Stop the cap. <laughs> So these kinds of women, these kinds of friends, they don't really think a good relationship will, will happen for them. So they're trying to erase the idea of it all together. Yeah. They're trying to men in black themselves, just shoop, as if they never wanted it. So you want to be, you got to be around women who have positive attitudes, who take accountability and responsibility for getting a relationship to the same degree that they would expect a man to put forth their best effort. To That's another thing. Accountability, bro. Gotta have that. Gotta have that to be in a healthy relationship. To get a relationship with hope with what they're hoping for is them. You want to be around women who can openly express that they want a relationship and who appreciate their own relationship. Y'all, I've had to cut friends who they was in whole marriages and the way they talked about their husband, I was like, I can't even do this. So it's not just it's not about you know, people say single people to keep people single. Okay. The fact that she's acknowledged that too, like, it be married women dogging their husband. And that's another thing that had, like, even me, like, that has me scared. Like, the women just married just to settle and, and just to have the marriage and, and the roof over their head and, and live. They got, they got that dream in their head that they want to achieve it by any means. And then years down the line, they wake up and unhappy and didn't want this life and that man don't make them happy or or they truly wasn't attracted to him he was just an option for the moment that stayed around too long and it'd be all kinds of sad shit happening and next thing you know they get a divorce and then you stuck paying for like all that man i understand it i get it but it's really just unhappy people that keep people single that's unhappy uh, but there's a lot of unhappy people that's in the relationships like a lot of unhappy people can get in a relationship instantly because they either bond off trauma depression can't be alone all types of shit bro and you'd be surprised how many people that's out here in relationships that truly are not mentally ready for a relationship nor are they mentally stable to be in a relationship but they keep them they keep a relationship and haven't even has n never worked on their self their in their inside never worked on their trauma never trudged through all that stuff that makes them tick and everything that they're pushing now all that shit gonna come out and explode one day and it's usually through fighting arguments divorce cheating all types of stuff. She, happy people she, that, she, she, she's speaking facts right now. Keep people unhappy. I think that's a lot more accurate. Because I've seen people, and some of y'all will know them as well, that are in whole marriages with people that they talking bad about, with people that they don't really like for real, with people that they're plotting on leaving, with people that they're plotting on cheating on. So you got to be willing to set some really strong boundaries or totally detached from these people, okay? Because these people will get all in your energy, all up in your brain. You don't want none of that. Set strong boundaries. Couple notes, women, and then I got to go. Do you want to be on the lookout for what I've described, okay? Um, you're likely going to need new and stronger boundaries in place. Get a therapist that will help you work through the old programming that has not gotten you the outcomes that you want. Go to therapy. If you want to work together with me, there's a link in my bio. We can work together one-on-one. -on -one. Be willing to make new friends and be in a new and be in new community with healthy people. I'm not even talking about that you should cut people off altogether. Sometimes you that you need it and sometimes you don't need to do all of that. I'm a little extreme. I'd be like, just just 
go ghost for a little bit. Just go no contact and really get yourself together. But that's not, you know, that's not for everybody. Be willing to at least make new friends and be in new community with people, okay? Some people so loyal to your detriment and you be hanging on to people that you ain't got nothing in common with at this point. But it's the history that keeps you stuck. And that's nothing too. Don't let history keep you stuck to somebody. Man, let that shit go. If they don't mean no, no, if they're not doing you no good, and they're not bringing no positivity to your life, if they not bettering your life, not bettering you, not bringing any positive energy, not uplifting you, not supporting you, not got your back, cut that shit off, bro. And a lot, I know a lot of what she's saying is she's aiming it for women, but brothers, y'all can listen to a lot of this too. Like, stop holding on to like relationships with people who have just outgrown you. And, you know, you ain't got to, like, be no animosity or nothing. Just, you know, when you see them, dap them up or whatever. Keep it pushing. But it is okay to, to make new friends and start over, bro. And it's okay to cut ties with folks from the sandbox, bro. Like, hell. I, man, I cut ties with a lot of folks from back in the day that they just wasn't I, I, if it gets to where you're the only one reaching out and every time you reach out to somebody they got attitude or somebody angry with you or you reach out and trying to do something with them and they always got an excuse but then you look on social media they always doing something with other folks man let that shit go man let that shit go it's better for your mental health anyway bro take care of your mental health first first and foremost be at peace with yourself and a lot of the times a lot of times you'll be surprised what holding on to a relationship does to your mentality and then when you cut them off how much more freer and like a weight will lift it off your shoulders because you're trying to water a relationship that that flower been long dead it ain't it ain't doing nothing <laughs> And ladies, last thing I know, late, women, you want women want people to fight for them. Women want people to fight. You want people to you want somebody to fight for you, but you gotta stop fighting back. Okay, you gotta stop fighting back. It's like that lifeguard thing when the lifeguard's coming out to get you. What the lifeguard, what the what the people say if you're drowning, don't try to fight back. And the lifeguard is not supposed to grab onto you if you acting all crazy, because <laughs> then that lifeguard's going down with you. We can't both be dead. You got to relax. And so when you're hearing something that's not immediately resonating with what you've already thought and with, with what you already think, with what you think you already know, you got to learn how to relax and take the defenses down, take the walls down and listen and learn and be curious about it rather than just fighting back. You want somebody to fight for you. Stop fighting back. And on top of that, when she says, like, if you want somebody to fight for you, feelings aren't facts. Also, remember that a lot of, I know a lot of women, you know, y'all go off of your emotions and your feelings or whatnot. Just because you feel a certain way does not mean that's facts. And so, what she said is total true. Stop fighting back and listen and reciprocate and not listen to argue back, listen to actually understand. And I promise you, a lot of the problems will go away with that. People get tired. They don't, they be, they getting real tired. They opting out totally. People are tired. Okay. The world is tired. We don't want that. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, let me see. Y'all go follow her. I'll put the, uh, video in the description. That's a short one for today. Uh, I'll try to stream sometime this week, Wednesday, I guess. Y'all are seeing this Tuesday, so I guess I try to stream Wednesday. Uh, I know somebody asked me to try to stream on YouTube. I don't know, man. YouTube won't let me stream on you. It won't. Like, for some reason, every time I try to stream on YouTube, it won't let me. I don't know. I can't get in contact with YouTube until I become a partner or whatever. So I don't know how I'm supposed to go about getting trying to get it fixed, but... I don't know. I, I keep looking into it. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. 
Uh, we gotta get to 500. We almost there, people. And uh, oh, let me know if I should vlog uh or stream at uh DreamCon. Yeah, let me know. And uh, peace out. I'm out.